Okay, so let me just confirm that everything that could have possibly gone wrong while recording this video went wrong, and therefore there might be a few things missing. So if I voice over, that's why. The first thing that's actually missing is the new Discord server. We have a new Discord server where we can chill out, we can play VR games together, just do multiplayer, and just in general, if you want to chat, have some fun, join the new Discord. That's down in the description below. For now, that's it. So let's continue on with the video. Today I have another super exciting video for you guys. Uh, the last one where I did full body tracking using the Kinect from the Xbox One, which I do use every time I play. Well, I did before it made a hole in my wall. Uh, that video did extremely well and I got a shout out from Eric for present for it, which is great because he's a YouTuber that I watch every time he releases a video. So I was super happy about that. Thanks so much for that. So today we're doing another one. We're doing uh, we're doing a video where I'm going to show you guys how you can truly walk in VR. This could actually help you quite a lot if you get motion sick when using the joysticks to walk. So this is going to be super interesting. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in this video, we're going to be using a software called Natural Locomotion. Natural Locomotion essentially can use any type of controller, a PlayStation Move controller, it can use the Nintendo Joy-Cons, it can even use your phone, and that's actually what we'll be using today to check out how cheap you can truly make walking around in VR, you know, not having to buy these crazy omnidirectional treadmills that they're selling for God knows how much. We're gonna check out if you can actually use this, and if you can, You'll even be able to use it with the Xbox One Connect because this thing emulates five controllers. If this works the way it should work, you'll actually be able to use this to walk in VR by just moving your legs. You won't need to use the joystick anymore and hopefully that will help with motion sickness and it'll just be pretty cool. Let's switch over to my PC. So as you can see guys, we're on my screen right now. So basically what you need to do is you need natural locomotion off Steam. I already have it, so we're going to jump right into that. So we have Natural Locomotion here, waiting for Natural Locomotion Steam VR driver. So it's going to install its own driver, just like uh, Driver 4 VR did when we installed that. So ensuring your controllers are tracking, Driver 4 VR launches itself. And here, as you can see, the first thing that shows up is you have a bunch of games, which is super cool because that means these guys have worked super hard to actually get a bunch of games into their profiles and actually set up for you. So that's even less work for you. And this is so cheap, it's actually, I believe, $9.99. So do support the developers, this is truly amazing. Um, the one we're going to be going into, of course, is VR Chat because this is my preferred game for testing full body and things like that. So we're gonna click on VR Chat, we're gonna click Select pro uh, Profile, and you're gonna get this page now. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your spare phone. Uh, today we're using my old Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus and the main one that's actually recording right now. So I'm going to have to switch to the iPhone when we're actually recording. But you wanna to go to the Play Store and in the Play Store, you wanna search for Natural Locomotion and the app you wanna download is Natural Locomotion Tracker. I'm sure you guys can't see this because the screen is too far away and I just can't focus on that. <laughs> Once you open the app, it's going to ask you for a code. So then what you do, is you click on trackers, manage, and see all these controllers here that you can use? There's just so many. So we're gonna add a smartphone, and it's gonna give you the code. So we're gonna go A E G Z D N C Z, right? So you click connected. connect. Oh, it speaks, oh, interesting. Okay, so it's connected. It says foot here to the left. You're gonna see foot. So you can either select foot or body. I haven't tried out body yet. We might do that for another video, but today we're focusing on the feet, so. Calibration required. Okay. <laughs> so you wanna draw. Calibration completed. <laughs> Digit eight on with your phone tap to disable power saving mode. So now it's tracking. As you can see, now it's tracking. The screen's gone black. It says tracking. So this one's tracking now. Let's switch to the Mi 8. I would like to straight up apologize for the difference between this clip and the previous clip, but we've switched to the iPhone now. So I'm going to bring up the volume on this one so that you can see. I already have natural locomotion installed connected. on this one. Connected. It said connected. So then you highlight tracking. Calibration required. And it says calibration required. So we draw so actually there is about a 20 minute long clip here that is missing about me just doing your typical 
error checking because f no matter how hard I tried, I could not get the phones to appear in the natural locomotion software. Now, keep this in mind. I want this to be in here just in case anyone else is having this problem. This is not a problem with natural locomotion. Basically, what was happening is natural locomotion needs both your controllers to be on in order to work, which is interesting, but it just needs to be. Now, I had the leap motion driver installed, and the leap motion driver detects the two controllers are connected even if the leap motion is disconnected. Now, the leap motion was disconnected for me, and therefore natural locomotion thought both the controllers were on. After a while, I did realize that and uninstalled the leap motion driver. And after I did that, it asked me to turn on both my Oculus Touch controllers, and after that, it went pretty smoothly. So do keep that in mind. If your phones are not appearing in natural locomotion or anything you're using, it probably is because you have some other crazy drivers installed. So do try to uninstall them, and hopefully everything goes well for you from there on. So now we finally have two connected. And now it says, one out of two foot trackers detected. So if I, so if I change this one to foot... Now we have two feet. Perfect. It says calibration 0%. Okay, so the mic is in the Rift S, so I want to apologize for audio quality. So what you want to do is you want to take both your phones and slide them into your socks like this, and then cover them up like that. That's my setup. I know it's really stupid, but it's my setup. And also for me, only the Mi 5S works. So that's the one I'm putting in now because uh, the accelerometer in my Mi 8 is broken for whatever reason. So we technically only have one leg, but it'll work for the demonstration. So we're fine. The way you, work, you would actually do this is as you can see, if you moved your legs, you'd actually be able to walk. And if you move them faster, you can run. <laughs> but um, see, I'm only moving one because if I move this one, Nothing's actually going to happen because the accelerometer is broken, but it totally works for what we're using it for. It totally works. Also, it might not work at the beginning because you might need to calibrate it. The way you want to do that is you want to look forward and then when you run in one spot, it'll be calibrated. So like if I reset it right now, which is double tapping the home button, see, it doesn't work. So you want to run in one spot and keep running until it starts working. And see now it works. So now you know it's calibrated. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how it works. Okay, so as you can see, that works really well. Uh, I did only have one leg to show it with, to you guys because, well, my Mi 8 accelerometer is broken. I do have another phone that I'm personally going to be using this with, but that phone was dead and charging it back up would take a while. So I really wanted to show this to you guys. You saw it working with the right leg, therefore it will also work with the left one. You just need to get it set up and yeah, let me know how it goes down for you in the comments section below. I think this will be great for motion sickness and I think that it will add a little bit of immersion to the game and a little bit of activity, if you know what I mean. So... <laughs> Definitely do try this out. Let me know how it goes. And yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, if you want to see future videos like these, make sure to subscribe. Ding my bell. If you liked this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Tell me why in the comment section below. See you again in the next one. Peace. Join the Discord. Now the main thing that died during this entire video was the gimbal. I believe it died about 12 times, so why not for a little bit of a gimbal dying compilation? I know you really like it when I talk in this voice, but 
in all seriousness, um, just for those that are interested, Razer has decided to get back to me and they are sending me a new laptop, an upgraded model this time, so hopefully I don't have to deal with the, you know, crap that I get along with the Razer Blade 15 2018 model. Now, I will let you all know how that goes in a future video, but for now, see you again in the next one.